Hi guys. So I got in the case, the gig bag that goes to my lovely Marini base double strung. Um, you might remember if you saw the other video that it wasn't quite ready at the time. So I just got this in and figured I'd do an unboxing video so you can see what that's like as well. Um, so cutting into this ever so gently. Be careful that I don't cut past here. And lots of things protecting the bag. And the bag is all nice and folded up. Uh, I There are different bags, and this was a special made. Certain colors were specially made. Um, uh, Daughter makes um, the specialty colors. Uh, must have a super heavy duty sewing machine, um, as opposed to mine, that's for sure. And I got the maroon. And I got the extra pocket so that it has two pockets actually. Um, oh, this is a very nice, sturdy, um, heavy material. So there's one big pocket in the front. Mini made heart. Um, heavy Velcro. Um, yep, very nice in there. Oh. And um, Sue Marini was telling me some information about when I, because I have the display stand and I also have the stabilizer bar, that when I take the little knob things off, I don't want to leave them loose because we don't want to scratch the wood as well, um, the, the wood from the stand or the wood from the stabilizer bar. So she said that she included something for me to be able to keep the knobs there. Um, so that's... That's awesome. And nice, heavy. Oh, that's great. Um, I, I, um, I have two options. I love when these kinds of things have two options. So I can either hold it by the handle or I can um, put it around um, uh, with, a, with a big, long bag uh, handle to be able to put it over my shoulder. So that's great to have those different options. So again, you see that there's the bag in front and then there's, oh yes, this is the very big bag, uh, the very pocket, sorry, the pocket in front, and then the back pocket, which is the extra pocket um, for the display stand. So I can actually keep the, the stabilized bar in here, I can keep the display stand in there, and other things like the tuner, the strings, um, I keep all my music on on a tablet so all that stuff could be nice and in here so yep <laughs> that's a deep pocket that's going to be excellent um and let's see opening this up let's get this out of the way it's like there's the end <laughs> Zip is right in the middle, okay. That's that's the best way to put the zippers both of them in the middle. Nice and heavy duty padding. Um, the hardware is um, that the strap is on is extremely uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's um, nice heavy uh, D-ring. Um, and and the bar the shoulder um, strap is adjustable and let's kind of see how this would I'm just going to take this off right now so I can open this up more it's probably an easy way to do it but again I'm trying to make this so you see what I see um, oh wow that's really nice it's kind of a it reminds me of kind of like a, a velour 
um, very tight, so it's going to be very soft um, against the against the lovely wood. So that's going to fit there. All right, I'm gonna take off the take off the um, the harp off the stand, and then we'll come back and see how everything uh, how nice and snug or not snug, right? We'll find out. This is my first time too, so see you in a couple. Okay, so I took the harp off of the stand and um, the bag is nice that it's totally tailored made. So it has the harmonic curve just like my harp does. So the where the outside zipper is, that's where the high end goes. Um, that's where the straight um, bar, I forget the name of that, uh, goes. So I've got that kind of tucked in in the corner so over here and now we're going to fold it and my zip is here and over and i still had my strap on my harp um and that just went over i just adjusted a little bit it's nice uh zippering very well um I love that it's a flat design. It's totally made for this, um, as opposed to a wider uh, um, by hot bag, right? This is made for that. It's a narrow harp. I like that it's so portable, as I've said before. Um, so that fit in there really well. So let's see how the stand is going to do as well. So we've got, again, she gave me a little bag. So gave me a little bag to put the... Um, knobby thing. So I'm going to put that right in there so that nothing's going to get uh, scratched. And if you saw my unboxing video, you saw how this um, screws on the base. So the base is totally um, comes apart and fits in here. So this is the side that doesn't have the Marini made harp. So now that I have it all wrapped up, um, zip it up. I am going to put the stand, um, the top of the stand. And Sue has suggested that I do go face the top now pot first. But I just want to be extra safe with this beautiful wood. I'm going to put in the pillowcase that it came in. Um, obviously, if you remember, blah, blah, wrap and everything else. But I'm just putting it in the pillowcase. Narrow side first, sliding it in there, and it's snug. <laughs> snug as a bug in a rug, right? It's nice and snug. So let's just make sure that this flap is out of the way. And yeah, it fits. Again, at an angle a little bit, so it's right down the corner. And then I also want to take my lap bar. So got another pillowcase. And as Sue suggested, there's room, a little bit of case in here in the, um, in the pocket, a little bit of room right next to it to put that in there. And nice heavy Velcro, keep it all nice and secure. I probably have to play with this a little bit because a little bit of the black is showing. I don't know if I can change that. But that's what we've got going on there. So now on the other side, the front pocket, I've got my knobby things, so I'm going to put those in. So I got everything that I would be taking, right? Um, I a set of strings, but you never know what's going to happen with those. Um, Tuning, have fun because there's 60 strings there, right? If you're afraid to tune, you certainly get good at it when you're doing that. Um, oh, yes, we need the bass. So I've I got the bass to the stand. So it just felt too, too tight uh, for the other one. So I've got it in this front stand. Well, hopefully I will. You know what? Let's add those in later. So 
putting that stand in there. There's a little bit of space in there for my pegs, the knobby things, and my strings. And my tablet, this is not an iPad Pro, but I needed something bigger than an iPad. And while I'm a Mac person, and I would have loved an iPad Pro, I couldn't justify the expense of an iPad Pro for basically sheet music. That's all I wanted this for. Um, so I ended up doing my research and this is a Samsung Galaxy uh, F something or other. So the size of it is almost the size of a regular sheet of paper and of course you can crop. So it is perfect for my, <laughs> my older eyes and I love being having everything I want just all in there. So I just gotta play with this. Maybe that should have went in first before the stand because it is snug as a bug in a rug but it fits <laughs> that's what i was hoping for so let's find the other um part of the i'm a swinging it over my shoulder kind of person if at all possible so attaching it to the d-ring again it might have been able to stay on but this is my first time here, so nice and secure and ready to go. So again, it's big and it's awkward, but the hop is big and awkward, but it's also so much lighter and more portable than anything else. So I love that this was designed to be able to hold the stand as well, and I am sure I'll get better at knowing exactly how it fits in. And if you prefer, to just carry it by the handle, then that works as well. So the Marini double base double strong, I think their regular is um, bag is about the same size. Um, not sure exactly. With the extra big pocket, so it always comes with this pocket. And if you want to pay a little bit extra, because I want to make sure that I could fit the stand. It's one of the things I love that the stand was portable. It comes with this very large pocket. Um, and I have more, more space down here, so maybe I could have put something down there first. And I wonder if I adjust this a little bit more, if it would fit just a little bit. So snug as a bug in a rug. I'm extremely impressed with the durability and quality. This um, zipper is looks to be super nice and strong, but uh, flows evenly. Um, and the way that the D-rings are put on. Again, very heavy, uh, durable strap, both of them, all of them. And the way that the D-rings are put on, can we see that? <laughs> the way that the D-rings are put in, a lot of extra um, strong uh, sewing around this. So that is it. This is the... the um, specially made, custom made bag to go with the Marini base double strung. And um, I'm loving it. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments. All right, take care guys.